what separates the casual Jane Austen fan? Oh, Janie, it's gotten so much worse. From the aficionado. The number of times she's read Austen's novels, or her consuming love for Mr. Darcy. This is the best part. Unbelievable. She finds her way here to the world's only immersive Austen experience. Miss Russell. Yes, sir. Has Mr. Darcy ruined it for all men? Um, no. I think he is literally just a, a template, an idea of what ladies sometimes like. Doesn't mean it's the reality, but it's what a lot of ladies, surprisingly, are really into. I mean, it's that's what's the interesting information. Like, why are ladies so drawn in by that? And I, I, I can only say that I think it's the idea of someone being sort of hard to get, and then, in truth, they've been watching you all along and paying so much attention to what actually makes you tick and what makes you work. And I think that's really what it is. It's like someone who doesn't come on too strong at first, and then. You know, it's a real meeting of the minds and appreciation of who you really are. So when you were growing up, what was your Austin land? What, what do you wish you could have gone and experienced if there was a world? What were you obsessed with? Um, I would say Nancy Drew. I read every single teenage detective book there was. So I would, I guess, be on some, you know, detective land where I was solving crimes. What is the key to doing a proper British accent? As, as an American, both Americans, what is the key to doing that accent? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Thank God I didn't have to do one in this. Um, who does it well? I, I, I don't know. I think, I think accents are a funny thing. Like, you either have it or you don't. And I didn't have to do one, thank God. If I could morph, and I yeah. was Jane Austen. Yeah. I'm Jane Austen. I'm You're Jane. Mm -hmm. What would you ask Jane Austen? How did you do it? I mean, you, you massive success. I mean, centuries later, people are in love with, like, they're just rehashing all of your stories. I mean... She's just incredible. So let's talk a little bit about that. Why has this stood the test of time? I, isn't it fascinating? I mean, so many different incarnations of, of her stories. It's really incredible. I, I, I would. I, would, I, I want to know what kind of music she listens to. That's what I'd ask. You're going to the Darcy place, too? Yes. I memorized the first three chapters of Pride and Prejudice when I was 13. <laughs> What's that? Welcome to the Regency era. Look at those. I expect my guests to eschew all things modern. May I present Miss Jane Erstwhile, an orphan of no fortune. Oh. Uh, oh. You have paid for the basic copper package. You're in the servant's wing. You're in the creepy tower. I'm so mad I wasted all my money. How were you able to keep a straight face with Jennifer Coolidge? In her boobs? I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough when I see her in real life. I still have trouble. Um, just saw her in New Orleans, saw her at her house. Um, she's amazing. She's so good at what she does. You know, it, it, she's one of those people that, and I really mean it, you, people, you, you think you know who she is and you don't. She's so wise and she's so interesting and soulful and, and she's so good at what she does. All that stuff is improv, what she's doing. I mean, she's just riffing and riding it and, and you're just hanging on for dear life, hoping to not ruin her moment. Let's talk about you for a second. Going back a few years, when I was coming over here today, I was like, I'm going to That's so funny. Coming in with Carrie Russell, and mm. they're like, oh my god, Emerald Cove. Emerald! <laughs> oh yeah, I'm Cla bringing up classic. Emerald freaking Cove. Classic. So let's talk about that. those years, obviously, you, Ryan Gosson, Brittany, yeah. Christina, Justin. I know, wild, right? Looking back on the Mickey Mouse Club to yeah. now, what do you make of your ride? So fun! I, it was such great opportunities. I'm so lucky to have a job. I'm, you know, in a, a job where you get to travel and like someone else pays for your flight. Sometimes it's like so nice. Someone else bought me dinner last night at a fancy place. Um, so so fun. I've had, been able to do really great things, meet amazing people. This movie was going to the English countryside with my family. You know, it's, it's been a fun ride. What was it about Lucky. that show? Why do you think all you guys came up out of that? Yeah. What was in the water over there? I know. Uh, you know. The casting director, Matt Casella, who cast all of us, I mean, he, they, just, they just did it right, I guess. They, I know it's weird, too, because when you're 12, like, really, how great are you at 12? Don't you just kind of go, yeah, that kid's okay. I mean, I, I, certainly with those little kids, like Brittany and Christina, and they were 
12, I guess, when they first came on the show. And, I mean, they were cute, but I didn't go like, oh, they're going to be gazillionaires, you know. Christina definitely, hands down, you go, whoa, she can sing. She could sight read perfectly. And, um, but the other kids, you're like, yeah, they're cute. You know, who knew? Is there an album in your future? Yeah, I've been working on, well, one of the reasons we did this Nelly bit is um, we're doing a little collaboration. And uh, I'm hoping to release it, I don't know, next year sometime, like after Americans, because I want to do some really cool video work some dance choreography and stuff. But the rap album is really where my heart and passion is. You'll reunite with Justin and go on yeah. tour? Yeah, obviously, yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. I am single because apparently the only good men are fictional. What do you guys think of that girl, Jane? She's a bit peculiar. You try to catch her eye. Tally ho, a hunting we will go! I'm kind of a mess, aren't I? She's got a I'm going to take charge of my story. An Austin heroine gets engaged by the end of the book. That is what I am going to do. I'm really into you. You want to get out of here? Who's that from? 